So what are we looking at today? What up people and welcome back. As you've seen, we are going to be looking at the Mitech General Extreme, which is the um, IP rated 66 version of this UHF walkie talkie. The IP66 rating uh, will make this unit uh, splash proof, rain proof, pretty much protected from a lot of the natural elements around, but I, I certainly wouldn't want to throw it into a swimming pool to test it, so best to keep it away from that. Uh, it says it's professional equipment, sensibly priced, and I paid. £396, I think, for four. This is just a twin pack. I have another pack that comes uh, that came along with this. I wanted four of them to use. And obviously this is a, an unboxing and, and a little look through what you get and, and what they're about. It is stated on the box that this is 10 times more powerful than the unlicensed versions because you do require a license with these units. Uh, well, see if that's inside the box when we open it. Um, it does come with a wide range of accessories, although I have read that if you are to use any of these accessories, you should only um, connect them to the unit when the unit is off, otherwise you will permanently damage the unit. Uh, but it's a nice sturdy box. Uh, I think that's what they're showing that you uh, you you get in the pack uh, some options there very nice okay well let's have a look and see what we get inside okay oh a sticker everybody loves stickers very good yes i like that that's good Ah, okay. This is the Ofcom license, which I believe you have to fill and send out um, in the UK. Okay. Well, we'll get that done. Um, regardless of how many units you have, I believe the actual price is £75, and they will send you back everything you need to then operate the, uh, the units with no fear of prosecution. Okay, wristbands, that's the base charger, power supply, all good, looks nice. Get this out. Okay, okay, it feels a bit plasticky, oh, there we go, one of the stuff's already come off, but then again, that's not too bad. Just press that back on there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Pretty much like any other charger, really. Uh, this is the uh, antenna. Um, I believe there is a nine centimeter stubby version of this. If you would prefer something a little more compact, it's a uh, flexible, hard. I, I, I like it. That's, it looks like it's a nice quality. Okay. This, I believe, is the belt clip. Okay. If you actually want to put this onto your belt. And the actual unit. There's the unit. Oh, oh. Okay. I've got to say... The unit does feel very nice. Hmm. That's the on and off. On and off. Your channel settings, obviously your antenna. Screws directly into there. Good, that's pretty good. And then obviously there's the battery. I do believe this is a five watt unit and a 30 
uh, 13 milliamp battery, uh, which is, is quite a, a sturdy little battery really. That's uh, it's quite nice. Um, connection, does it just clip? Just clips in directly there and locks into place. Nice, that's good. And obviously there is another one, the same below, which is great. So I do very much like the feel of this. This is, it does feel like a bit of quality there. That's for sure. Very nice. Well, I guess probably the next thing to do would be uh, to get this on charge and fire it up. These units, the ones that are rated at five watts, um, are, are quite powerful. Uh, from my understanding, in a city environment, you have a radius of 10 kilometers that you can communicate with, with uh, another unit. And the further you get out of the cities and, and get into sort of like uh, rural areas, the range climbs up to 25 kilometers which uh, I think we'll give a try at some point. We'll, we'll give it a shot and see how that goes. Yeah, a great looking bit of kit. I do actually very much like it. Also, along with the battery, you do have an option of buying separate batteries, which you can then charge independently. They just slot in and charge independently, so you, you don't ever have to be without a battery. The actual unit will work with all other Mitex units and they they work together seamlessly and I believe it is very easy to take other models and makes of UHF walkie-talkies and quite easily adapt them to actually communicate with the unit as well. Okay we're here at the workbench and we've got it here um, just to see how the belt clip the belt clip attaches just literally two Phillips screws. They're only small. And it sits in place. Pretty much as simple as that. Go down straight. Okay. There we have it. You got your belt clip. Very nice. Um, the battery. Literally, you just slide that up and it slides out and it can come out very easily. I think it's a bit bit more difficult to put back in, but because it just slides, as long as you lift that, it'll slide back in and click in. And as I was saying before, you can get separate batteries and literally just slot them in place like that. So, let's get that. I kind of like the, the fact that they've given you a charger for each unit, although I need uh, now I need four sockets to to run these, or the you know you could charge them one at a time if you liked. But if you want to try and keep them all functioning, plenty of cable, plenty of cable on the the power supply. So no complaints there. It's a stiff stiff lead as usual on there, which will unravel over time. Some connection into the back. Okay, let's power this in. Okay, and we have the indicator, so we're good to go. Power to green. These I will never use. Much prefer to use a belt clip. Uh, 
So that's pretty much it. We'll get this one charged up and powered in as well. Get the other two up and running. Um, I better fill out that license and get that going. Uh, but, you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, oh, before I forget, please like and subscribe. Come back for more. Uh, I am new to this, but I do plan on getting better. So thanks for all the support. Thanks for sticking it through to the end. And uh, I shall catch you soon. Cheers.